Hello friends, welcome back. So far we learned how to convert our physical questionnaire format into a nice computerized version digital form using app like una google forms odk build obo toolbox And we can edit and customize form using XLS forms. So this many things we learned so far. Then after converting the questionnaire into a digital form, you can connect it with your smartphone, Either using link or you can download and install ODK ODK collect so that you can collect offline data and you can submit. So here here you can save your data, build data, and you can submit your data when you are online. Okay, so after you submit your data, it will go to it goes to server, and from there, then you can visualize your data into chart or in tables here on dashboard you can online edit or modify your data you can visualize map if you are having location information and you can download Download all the data in L SAV file, CSV, and other format. So all this thing we can do with the help of your digital transformation of the questionnaire. Today, I am going to demonstrate another very, very important and simple tool which is known as AppSit. Again, it is basically a Google product using AppSit you can create a simple mobile app to complex app after customization without without writing a single code without writing a single code and have this app on your phone okay so let's learn AppSit today go to google search type AppSit click on the link sign in with your existing google account 
use your google account allow the access so you will end up this nice dashboard where different app you have created would be visible let me first demonstrate our two nice app i have created using this platform one is the student attendance app and another is the patient management app so let us open the student management app in this app we can create student different student we can add batch wise and we can also take their attendance we can prepare schedule for the batch teacher wise we have also weekly schedule and monthly schedule we can visualize in our mobile app you can plan daily activity we can manage batch we can even mark their presence using the different icon for the different kind of attendance for example morning posting lecture tutorial like that another app that is i have created is patient management app let's have a look at that patient management app in this patient management app we can enter patient detail when patient come first time we can enter basic details then we have also records for their lab examination general examination and we can also add prescription data and that prescription data directly fetch the drug data from the store tables or drug store which is a table created in a google sheet and already connected to this app so if this is a little bit, bit advanced app that i have created using app sheet with some formulas and references through the formula and references we can even create alerts like the drug expiring or expiring this month or this year stock out time to stock indent so this kind of features we can manage there are also other features like automation automation for the sending automatic email these are some advanced feature and in the paid version more advanced features also available so this is a kind of basic relational database app not like sql structure query language but similar to that you can see the parent tables and the child tables which are connected all to gather we can start building a very simple app connecting to our data in google spreadsheet to a very complex app with heading a formula and references this is the source file where our data has been stored this is a, again google spreadsheet in this spreadsheet only we have different different tables like first follow up lab examination prescription store and drugs so we can store all of the our data like a relational database in the single google sheet okay so let us build one app from sketch so open your google sheet from your account click on blank sheet rename it and create some dummy data or a data format you want to 
create. Remember that the first row will contain the name of the all variable, all the variables you want to collect in your app. So label it properly. Like here I am creating the first variable unique ID. Then second name, gender, address, age, mobile number, select one whether new patient or follow up and finally feedback so these are the sample data i want to create for my app start filling the data dummy data start filling dummy data like unique id name and all dummy data should be like actual data so that the app can understand that which kind of variable you are using for example gender you can write male female and others for age you can write the number so app will take it as a number for unique id also now integer and other format okay i have copy pasted all data now, now I am changing the available option like a new and follow up. Similarly, I will also change for gender male. All the data is for male. I will change it to female. So change it and fill with the dummy data. 10 to 15 data. It would be suffice. Alright, so once your data is ready, go to app sheet and click on create. You can start with the existing data or you can use template. Name your app, choose category. Choose category, choose your data that you have created, dummy data. Select it. Alright, so it has created a nice app for you and it is ready to add data. But this is a basic app. If you want to customize it, you want more features, then you can go to customize your app option and it will open a app sheet editing dashboard. Click on customize your app. So this is nice interface, home, info, data, UX, behavior. Behavior and automation are advanced feature where you can send automatic email. You can have a different login from security, Google, Microsoft, Dropbox. You can change login instead of google you can use microsoft from in the ux you can change the the way your app dashboard is appearing 
we have a view and table if you click on view it will open a view from here you can customize your app view there are different views mentioned here like deck table grid view map cards form so the way you like to the way you want to show your app you can choose from here even you can change this icon from the display display option click on the display option and you can change the icon you can group your data by selecting view option group by like male female occupation age so this kind of grouping can also be possible from display you can change the icon there are many icons already they have provided and you can choose from them you can write down the formulas in the formula and references to edit your variable you can go to column and you can edit you can choose primary key like i have changed primary key, key to uid primary key is a unique key of your each table and using this that unique key you can connect between the tables so automatically it has created drop down list for male female new follow up because it study your behavior of data pattern of your data and create automatically a customized app you can edit data you can update data from the icon provided in your app dashboard if you want to learn further or if you want to want me to share my app just write down in the comment box or you can send me an email to drnareshchauhan at gmail.com i will ready and i will be happy to share all my app with you at free of cost if you are new here don't forget to leave like and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you